Endrick, Vitor Roque, Marcus Leonardo, Matheus Nascimento. As always, the Brazilian Serie A presents the world with more and more top talents who are constantly scouted by European top clubs. Hello friends, today we are gonna tell you about yet another diamond from the world's most football-playing country. This story is about Corinthians 18-year-old central midfielder Gabriel Moscardo, who is being targeted by Barcelona and Chelsea. Usually when a huge football talent appears in Brazil, his name becomes known to a world audience even before his professional debut. The cases of Vinicius Jr., Andrik and even Neymar are very illustrative. But with Moscardo, everything turned out a little differently, although it's rather unusual. Corinthians noticed Moscardo in 2016 in the academy of the small club Atletico Josense. Gabriel managed to quickly become one of the most prominent players in his age group, and later he was a starter in every team of the club system. Moscardo was extremely successful for Corinthians U17. Last year he played 23 games for them, managing to score 10 goals, while his team became the champions of the Sao Paulo state. This is a completely abnormal figure for a player who actually plays as a holding midfielder. Gabriel started this year in the U20 team, scored 3 goals, played at a rather high level, but there were no plans to integrate him into the main team. But the circumstances favor the young player. In June, Corinthians were hit by a series of injuries, and former head coach Van del Rey Luxemburgo lost Centromets Maicon and Renato Augusto, while another DM, Duke Yeros, left to play in the Russian league. Due to personnel problems, Luxemburgo gave the then 17-year-old Moscardo a chance, bringing him on for 11 minutes in the Copa Libertadores game against Uruguay and Liverpool. Even this time was enough for Moscardo to show that he was ready to play at a senior level. Since then, Gabriel has been an inseparable part of the Corinthians' first team. The product of the local academy has already played in nine games in Brazilian Serie A, as well as in three games of the Copa Sudamericana, where Corinthians were eliminated from the main club competition in South America, in addition to two games in the Brazilian Cup. Moscardo has yet to score a goal for Corinthians, but his on-pitch position does not require it. At the international level, Moscardo has not yet had a chance to shine. Gabriel has only one match for the Brazil U23 national team. This once again proves that before his professional debut, even in his homeland, Moscardo was not considered to be one of the best in his age group. It only took Gabriel Moscardo 12 games of the 2022-23 season to go from an unknown substitute to Brazil's next future star, writes the Brazilian outlet Rondo about Moscardo. Moscardo is 1.85 meters tall. He is thin, so visually it seems that he is much taller. Gabriel belongs to the modern type of holding midfielders who were great at moving the ball between the lines and getting away from opponents' high pressure with their technique. His style of play is reminiscent of another Brazilian Fabinho. According to Scout, Moscardo's passing accuracy at the professional level reaches an incredible 87%. He wins 57% of ground duels and in the air, the percentage of successful duels reaches an incredible 78%. In addition, he averages 5.83 interceptions per game. Moscardo's contribution to Corinthians' game is so significant that with him on the pitch, Timao lost only two games, two in Serie A and one in the Brazilian Cup. With his introduction, Corinthians' defense became much more reliable and the results improved overall. When Moscardo made his debut in Serie A in match day 9, Corinthians were ranked 16th a humiliating position for such a club. The team was only one point away from the relegation zone. In nine matches with Moscardo's involvement, the team, which was already led by Mano Menezes, climbed to 13th place. Brazilian media called Gabriel the game-changer who influenced Corinthians' results. Another exciting attribute is his ability and intelligence to launch Corinthians' counter-attacks. Whether by intercepting the ball and breaking forward with it, or by 
moving forward to receive a pass after the possession has been regained by other midfielders or defenders who do not have his acceleration and pace. It's quite impressive how quickly Moscardo scans the space and sees his teammates' runs. Are there many players who have just turned 18 who are able to make passes like that at the adult level? There are very few of them, actually. Very often, Gabriel acts literally on the verge of a foul, but he is very good at choosing the right moment to make a slight tackle to avoid a foul, like in this episode in the game against Palmeiras. Moscardo also has a brilliant long-range shot. 56% of his shots are in target. It's just a coincidence that he hasn't scored his first goal yet, even though he has been trying really hard. To beat the intense pressing, Gabriel needs only a small space to handle the ball and break through. But the most surprising thing is how skillfully Moscardo uses his technique near his own goal. It's not a problem for him to make a risky move and take out some opponents who are pressing him. Put a like if you're also impressed by Gabriel's skills. In the past, Corinthians have sold players like William, Carlos Tevez, Javier Mascherano, Jo, and Renato Augusto. But everything is heading towards Moscardo becoming the most expensive sale in the club's history. Timao understand that they possess a real diamond, so they are already demanding 30 million euros from Chelsea and Barcelona. The 18-year-old talent will not leave his home club for less than this amount. Currently, Corinthians' top sale is Centrimet Paulinho, who was signed by Tottenham for 19.75 million euros in 2013. So Moscardo is going for the record quite clearly. Firstly, we are certain that despite Chelsea's interest, we will see Moscarda wearing a Blaugrana shirt in the summer of 2024. The fact is that this deal is personally supervised by Barca's new sporting director Deco, who is very familiar with the Brazilian market. Deco has literally fallen in love with Moscardo and his game, so his transfer became nearly the top priority for the club for the summer of 2024. There is confidence that Moscardo will fit in perfectly in this Barcelona. After the departure of Sergio Busquets, the Catalans were only able to sign the agent Oriol Romeo, who will remain at his peak for a maximum of one to two seasons. Obviously, in Moscardo, Barca sees exactly the player who will be able to cover the position of a defensive midfielder for years. His profile fits perfectly with Chavez football and matches the club's DNA. Looking at Moscardo's performances, you can easily imagine him in Barcelona's midfield. Just imagine how strong Barca's midfield could be if the Brazilian keeps progressing at this pace. As for Chelsea, it looks like another agony of the Londoners. They are trying to gather all the young talents while they have already signed Moises Caicedo, Enzo Fernandes, Andrei Santos, Leslie Ugochokwu, Cesare Casadei, and Kendri Pais for their midfield. It's hard to imagine why this team would need Moscardo as well. Where would they fit them all? Besides, Brazilian media also write that Moscardo has his mindset on a transfer to Barcelona. So now it looks like only the financial troubles of the Catalan giants can prevent the deal. In any case, we continue to keep an eye on this incredible talent and wish him success at the top level. That is all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos. Goodbye everyone!